Hello, I'm Chef Evelyn of Evelyn's Midtown Kitchen. I'm a professional chef from Detroit. Some of you may know me. For the last 13 years, I've owned a business called I Eat Super, where the mission of my business uh, was to teach you the remarkable health benefits of incorporating superfoods into your life. That's foods that are nutritionally dense, mostly plant-based. So um, I've, never, I've never been vegan. I've had a couple of years of being a vegetarian. But really, the purpose of my business was to teach you how to incorporate these foods into your life and talk about uh, a lot of the nutritional benefits. And I'm reading from some notes here, so like, you know, if I look down, I just want to remember what I want to say today. Um, and for the most part, that's still my mission. Um, I started a new business called Evelyn's Midtown Kitchen, uh, where the primary purpose is to teach a lot about how to cook. So um, in culinary school, I had the pleasure of being taught by an amazing chef and person, Chef Dan. And I remember I was talking to him one time about, about wanting to do a, um, an internship at a vegan restaurant. And he told me, he's a tall man, so I kind of remember him looking down. He said, Evelyn, cooking is healthy. And, and I really understood what he said. When you cook for yourself, when you know how to cook for yourself, when you prepare the food uh, a lot of times from scratch, that is what makes healthy food because you're incorporating love into it, you're making it yourself, and you're just not as likely to make something horrible or process because you know you know how to prepare it so I've, i'm starting to live in that vein now where i want to teach you how to incorporate those healthy wonderful vegetables and everything but i want to i want you to be able to take charge of what you put in your body i still want that and i and so as a professional my goal is to teach you some of the professional techniques that i use in my kitchen Therefore, I'm inviting you into Evelyn's Midtown Kitchen. Um, but I'll be honest with you, this journey has not been easy. I'll be honest, this journey has not been easy. Um, some of you might even be wondering where I've been. Um, if you think a few years ago, I was really active in my social media. Uh, I did several segments on Fox 2 representing my business, I Eat Super, as well as a large healthcare organization that I was contracted with where I was their community chef for a few years. So I was very active online. Um, and then you're probably wondering like, okay, where is she now? Well, I'll be honest with you. While I have, have been doing well, I allowed a few business setbacks to send me back into corporate America. I know, corporate America. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I come from a long line of entrepreneurial women, African American women, through our nation's rough history, the women that I'm a descendant of, and I get a little, little uh, Emotional. The women I've come from, I come from, have made a way in this world. And my grandmother, Evelyn Robertson, the woman that I'm named after, she owned a cafe in the um, in the town where my mother grew up, Hammond, Louisiana. And a couple of years ago, I had the pleasure of going to, to Hammond with my mother and taking her on this beautiful journey of her life. And we actually went past that cafe and I've always known about it. But she, she ran, it's called the Deuce Cafe. And I can't tell you how inspiring that is to me. My mother owned a business on the west side of Detroit called Flowerville USA and it's just beautiful because not only was my mother a pillar of the community she created this place a space where people could come and feel safe and they would come during the most difficult times of their lives and the happiest times of their lives funerals weddings so many different occasions and over the years I watched this woman my mother build it from a small storefront 
and purchasing the next door storefront and then purchases the rest of the block. So I watched her build it and grow over the years and she just never stopped. And of course there were ups and downs, but she made it work. It was a family business and it was just, I could go on forever telling you the, 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 the beauty of the experience and the safety of making your own way and making your own business. So needless to say, that is entrenched in me. That is something that is deep in me. And I'll be honest, and I'm sure other people out there feel this way, I'm just not the best fit for corporate America. My resume looks amazing. But in reality, that is not for me. And for some, it works. And that's wonderful because everybody, we need everybody in this world. <laughs> but for me, it's, it's, it doesn't work. So back to Evelyn's Midtown Kitchen. I'm inviting you in to share the techniques that I incorporate for myself. The techniques that I probably kind of take for granted as a professional chef, I want to give those tools to you so that you can cook like a professional chef in your kitchen. Um, I'm going to share with you what I know, just so you can become better at what you do and just be the best cook for yourself. Because like Chef Dan said, healthy cooking is simply cooking. Uh, so I'm back. I'm Chef Evelyn and I'm back. You'll see more of me and I'm back. Because food, I'm back because food is still my passion. I'm back because food is something I care about. It's what I spend most of my time and money on and it's what I love and I want to share that with you. I want to share with you because I want everyone to be healthy. And I want to share with you my knowledge as a professional chef because I know more than anything, the most important ingredient is love. All right. See ya on the, on the net. <laughs>